I have to be honest with you. Today I realized that I've been consuming way too much garbage on the internet. When I was trying to come up with an idea for a video today, I remembered that I saw something about Aiden Ross and some dumb shit that he's been doing, and I thought, hmm, maybe I'll make a video about that. And then I realized, why the fuck do you even know what Aiden Ross is up to, you crackhead internet addict? There is an amazing quote, I'm not completely sure, but I think Hamza came up with it. It goes something like this. Technology is a sword and I want to be one of the few people that grab it by the handle, not the blade. I feel like this can perfectly be applied when talking about the internet. Think about how and why most people use it. For people in our demographic, it's almost exclusively wasting time and frying our brains, our reward systems more specifically. What does the average guy use the internet for? playing online video games, watching porn every day or twice a day even, scrolling on TikTok whilst taking a shit, looking at us on Instagram as a warm-up before graduating to more hardcore things, watching YouTube videos or live streams on Twitch while eating and not anything educational most of the time. There isn't any educational content on Twitch, these days it's just full of softcore pornography and just all around degeneracy. There is a lot of educational content on YouTube, but people generally prefer to watch something like a moist critical video or some shit like that. I don't even know what is popular to the general public these days. What else? Netflix, watching stupid TV shows and superhero movies full of propaganda, listening to DJ and music. Bro, I haven't been listening to mainstream hip hop for a few years now and I swear, I don't remember it being this bad. I don't know if I've just matured or is it just progressively getting worse and worse. I'm not sure honestly. All I know is, it's really bad at the moment. There is Satanism absolutely everywhere. Even worse, it's blatant and apparent and people are fucking vibing with it. Remember when people used to worship the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Well, most people these days prefer to worship some asshole rapper or singer. It definitely is worship. People go to concerts, get packed like a can of smelly sardines, waving their hands and jumping for some rando on stage. Do you not find that weird? Yo bro, The Weeknd is going to be doing a concert near us. Wanna come with me and my buddies? Uh -huh. No bro, I don't wanna come. I'm not paying 500 bucks, wasting an entire fucking day going to this satanic ritual you call a concert to go to listen to some guy whose music I haven't liked since I was an edgy, angsty 16 year old. Fuck off with that shit. I am getting a little sidetracked, but I just have to get this out of my system. Do you know why there are so many musical idols people worship these days? By the way, this is not just confined to the music industry. There are industry plans everywhere. Women studying at UCLA don't know what ocean is on the east side of North America, but know all the Kardashian sisters' names and dates of birth. Which ocean is on the east side of the United States? The east one? Yeah. You're from, you're from New York, right? Yeah. Oh, Pacific? You guys know this. I know this. I don't know this. Pacific? No, I, I can't do the oceans. I don't do the oceans. Pacific. What is the capital of the United States? Solve! I knew he was going to embarrass us. I know, do we? I don't even want to think because I don't want to sound dead. Well, just... There's no capital of the yeah, United States. Yeah, literally. Isn't it, just, is there no capital? You guys are UCLA students? We literally students? go to UCLA. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are the three Kardashian sisters' names? Courtney, Kim, and Chloe. Chloe, Kim. Courtney, and Courtney. Yeah. These people are in the place they are because if uh, the public were to worship Jesus Christ, for example, instead of some whore on television, there would be people who would lose money. Anyway, there are greedy, evil people that are profiting from you, frying your brain, getting depressed and lonely, profiting from your misery. This ties perfectly into the things I was talking about previously. All of the things I mentioned, video games, TikTok, Instagram, Netflix, porn websites, Twitch, all of these media outlets make massive profits from you being a loser man 
Imagine in your mind the perfect masculine man. Imagine the man you want to be. Physically and mentally strong, with an iron will. Massively successful. Would he be indulging in any of this shit? Of course fucking not, he doesn't have time for that. Why would he watch a superhero movie on Netflix? He himself is in real life a superhero. Why would he level up in a video game? He is already max level in real life. He is the raid boss. He's got all the loot the world can provide. Why would he look at naked holes on the internet? He is married to a 10 out of 10 woman who cares for him and admires him. A man such as the one I'm describing to you would use the internet as a weapon. He would grab this metaphorical sword by the handle and tear through the world with it, slice through his competition. You have to unplug yourself, man. You can't let yourself be taken advantage of. Stop being a consumer. Activate your creativity. Make something you're proud of. Become a producer of something, whatever you think you would enjoy doing. This is the proper way to use the internet. Next time, when watching a piece of content, just think to yourself, is consuming this content going to help me in any way? If not, click off and do something better with your time. If you want to be successful, you have to start valuing your time. Start improving your internet utilization alongside me. No more mindless content consumption. Fuck that. We are content producers now. No more brainwashing ourselves with satanic bullshit and destroying our attention spans with short form content. Delete all social media apps from your phone. It's time to stop wasting our lives. It's time to make some progress. Turn into a person that is worthy of respect. You must be tired of being a loser. I sure am. But it doesn't have to be this way any longer. Let's strive to be the best versions of ourselves. Unlock our potential. That's what this channel is all about. And that's it for the video. It's all over the place, sorry about that, but the message is still important. It's something I wanted to talk about. If you're going to be watching YouTube videos, you might as well watch one of my own. That way you might actually learn something useful. Anyway, thanks for watching.